Hello, my name is Ruben Mesa. I'm a hematologist and the director of the Arizona campus of the Mayo Clinic Cancer Center. This video is to welcome you, loved ones, family members, and friends to our eighth annual Living with Cancer Symposium. This is a meeting that my colleagues and I developed several years ago to try to address the needs of cancer patients, cancer survivors, and their family members to help add information, to help empower them as they better understand their options in facing a cancer and overcoming their cancer, disease-specific information, as well as general information. This is a meeting that is put on by Mayo Clinic that is open to the public and welcomes cancer patients, cancer survivors, their friends, and loved ones. This is a meeting that we break down really into three main areas and will occur on Saturday, January 21st at the JW Marriott here in Phoenix, Arizona. We begin with a morning that is a general session with topics that really are relevant for all cancer patients and cancer survivors. Issues of how the field of cancer care is changing. How are we better understanding the impact of our immune system and utilizing the immune system to better treat cancer? Where are therapies going in the future? How is cancer care being better individualized? As well as helping share information that is relevant for many individuals, but frequently they don't hear in other venues. Overcoming legal challenges. What are your rights as an employee or as a cancer patient? How are insurance challenges to be overcome? So we hope that this general session really helps patients across the board. Then we break into disease-specific breakouts. We have 11 disease-specific breakouts, each led by many of our faculty members from across the Mayo campuses who are world experts in individual diseases. Diseases such as breast cancer, colorectal cancer, lung cancer, prostate, kidney, bladder cancer. Our blood cancers such as leukemia, myelodysplastic syndrome, myeloproliferative neoplasms, lymphoma, myeloma, amyloidosis, as well as other difficult diseases such as pancreatic cancer, gynecologic and ovarian cancers. Finally, we end this very patient-focused day with a strong focus on other key needs for individuals facing cancer. And each year we have a different theme, and a particular theme this year is trying to empower younger patients who face cancer. We're mindful that the younger patient with cancer has other challenges. What is it like to be both a parent and a cancer patient at the same time? Be a cancer patient who's actively employed or having to face issues with work. How does cancer affect our relationships and intimacy with our significant other? So we have four additional breakouts, one specifically focusing on these issue for younger cancer patients and strongly encourage younger cancer patients to attend. Additionally, we have breakouts on exercise and its help in recovering from cancer. We have a special breakout on healthy foods with cooking demonstrations regarding not only what should we be eating, but how do we really approach our diet in a way that can help us along our cancer journey. And finally, relaxation techniques. We've thought long and hard about the content of this meeting and building on our prior seven successful meetings. Registration for this meeting tends to go very quickly uh, because we, it's, a, it's a good resource and we hope for it to be a particularly strong resource for patients this year. I encourage you to consider attending and very much would love to see you there again on January 21st, 2017 at the JW Marriott. Details on registration are attached to the link to this video. Again, my thanks.